Hey guys, Coach and Time Service here with an update on how to adjust your armbands and your call sheet if my settings are not um, what you need. Okay, my settings are for a high school team size, so adult size armband. So, and you know, we've talked about in the previous video how you can adjust the size of your armband by going to your armband tab, which I'm already on. And you can click on printer settings and then you can change this from 50%, maybe down to 40 if you need a smaller armband. And it would shrink that down that way. But if you've if you've tried doing that and you still need some adjustment and um, to make yours fit better, then you'll notice that my tabs down here, they're locked because I don't want anybody uh, typing in here and messing up formulas. So they're locked. So you can't move these cells over and make them smaller. You can't increase the font size. That it's, I mean, it is what it is. So if you want to be able to make those kind of adjustments, it's real simple. Just come down here to your tab. Click this little down triangle right here. This little upside down triangle. And then you can click on duplicate. And then when you click on duplicate, it's going to create a copy. And then you could just double click right here if you want to and put my armbands or whatever you want to put. And now this is your copy of the armbands and it is unlocked. So now you could take this right here if you wanted to and you could, you know, shrink this in if you needed to make it fit. You know, uh, if you wanted to increase all the font sizes, you can click on one. So if I want all these letters, these numbers or these plays to be bigger, uh, a little shortcut, you can click on row C. You can hold down your command if you're on a MacBook or you can hold down control if you're on a regular computer and start clicking these other cells that have all the names in them. And let me scroll over to the last one. And then once you've highlighted all of them like that, you can increase the font size of all of them at one time. If you want to make the wording bigger, you know, at some point it's going to be too big. And then at the same time, while they're all highlighted, if I adjust one, they're going to all adjust. So you can start customizing your band specifically to the brand that you bought and make that work. Uh, if you don't want to use this header right here, you don't have to, you can, you can click on it. I wouldn't delete it. It may mess up formulas because I've never really tried to delete it, but you can hide it so that it goes away. If you don't need that header. Okay. So and if you ever need it back, just click on the down, uh, the drop down arrows. And then that's it. Now on your armband, that's my armbands. Now on your call sheet, some coaches have emailed me and said, "Hey, I need, I need, I can't really uh, see this whole play here. It's too big, and you can't adjust it because it's locked." What well, same thing? Come down here, click on that upside down arrow, click on duplicate, and then I would probably just slide it over to your armband, close to where your armband is at, and then I might name this my call sheet. And now you have freedom to, you know, change this to route font. And then if you want to make this row a little bit bigger so that you can see it, you can do that. Uh, you you have the freedom to make some changes as far as the font, the size again. Like if I want all these to be bigger, then I can, you know, of course do that and make them bigger if I want to. Make them smaller. Whatever you want to do. When you make your duplicate copy, it unlocks it so that you can make the adjustments that you want to make. Um, so that's one way that you can do that uh, if my preset settings is, isn't getting it done. Uh, I would say probably 90, 95% of the time, uh, most people are getting it what they need with the percentage change on the printer because that's the easiest thing to do. Uh, but if you come in here doing it manually, then of course, you'd have to do everything manually, but once you get it set to your armband and you have it, uh, one other thing is like, you know, if if for some reason you was to accidentally do something, for instance, I'm going to type right here. And once you type in here, you've overridden the formula so it all goes away. And if you don't know what to do to fix it, uh, then you might just go in here and delete this tab. Not my tab that's locked. Don't delete the one that's locked, but delete your tab. And then you could create another duplicate. Now I'm going to cancel just to show you real quick. If you accidentally type in somewhere, if you go back and just clear that out, then everything comes back.
because once you rubber ride a formula, they just kind of all go away. So that would happen with the armbands too. So if you get on your armbands and you actually hit the space bar and didn't know it, and all of a sudden you've cleared everything out because you've overridden with the space bar, well, now you don't know where you put that space. I really don't remember where I put it. So what I would do is just highlight everything on this one armband, and then that's the delete key, and apparently I cleared it out. So there it is. And just a couple of shortcuts. I hope that helps you getting your armbands uh, more customizable to what the brand you bought. And if you got any questions, of course, I'd be glad to help you.